I'm Lena Two Carter. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Growing up was um, definitely hard. Um, very confused and lost, and didn't really know who I am, and um, dealt with, you know, with abuse and um, lack of love. And um, I, I ended up getting locked up at the age 13. Then I ended up getting locked up again when I was 16, eight months pregnant. Uh, when I first got locked up, it was very hard. Um, I felt like I didn't deserve, deserve to be there. I felt alone. I felt scared. Um, I came to know God when um, I was doing a group called Promise where these women came in and they were just so genuine and caring. Uh, they showed me something else different that they had God in them that, you know, they didn't care why I was there. It was just very real, something that I never had before, even living in my own family. So it made me want to explore and search who God was. After being locked up for four and a half years, um, I stayed connected with those women that I did the promise group with, um, and I ended up working for them. Today, I get the opportunity to go actually go back into the facility I was once at and able to see the girls and able to mentor and just walk alongside them and share the gospel of who God is. If I can go back to talk to myself as a kid when I was locked up, I would tell me that it's going to be okay. God is watching over my life, that the storm is not going to be forever, and that God has a plan for me. Um, what people need to understand about the girls being locked up is um, that they the decision they make is not who they are. Um, in their life, whatever they've been through in the system, people repeatedly have tell them, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, and you're just a bad person, but that's not who they are. Um, the choices they made, it's just a poor choice that not a lot of thinking and not a lot of guidance, not a lot of good leaders in their life that help them to make the better decision, especially the lack of not having your mom or dad there to love you fully, that it's not their fault that they're there.